guys, so today I just wanted to talk about the whole Alex Day situation. Honestly, I'm a little upset that I even have to make this video because a few weeks ago I had already talked about sexual abuse on YouTube, but just shortly after I made that video, Alex Day came back. Great, great, now I have to deal with that. But I do feel like it is important for us to keep talking about this for as long as we have to. I just want to start off by saying that everyone in any situation where there is a conflict has the right to express his or her side of the story. What that person says about his experience in the situation at hand should be truthful, obviously, but it should also not ignore parts of the issue. It shouldn't omit information from what happened. So that being said, I'm just gonna get it out in the beginning of the video. I'll just put it out in the open. I think Alex's video was a load of bullshit. So let's talk about it. First of all, the whole tone of the video was derogative. I don't care what people think of me. You don't know all the sides of the story. Like, is this not an apology video? Because that should be the only video that you're uploading at this point. Honestly, when I clicked on the video, I was expecting at the very least an explanation and at the most and best an apology. But it was neither. It was excuses and him being a jackass. It didn't seem like he was sorry for what he did, but rather that he was sorry that he got caught for what he was doing. And it honestly didn't seem like he cared about the topic of sexual coercion or harassment or whatever you want to call it. He just cared about how people thought of him, which is the opposite of what he said was his intention. He says a lot of times throughout the video that he knows people are gonna just take this as another one of his manipulative schemes, and he says that like that's not a valid response. When you prove to people that you're manipulative, people are going to be skeptical of anything that you do. That's what you get for being an asshole. So yeah, if the problem was that people realize that you are manipulating everyone, everyone is going to start wondering if you're being truthful in what you do. And honestly, I don't think his video was genuine for a lot of reasons. And if it was, still not good enough. If you didn't watch the video, and if you didn't, don't bother, it's a waste of your time. The whole video was him trying to defend himself rather than trying to explain why what he did was wrong and how he can improve himself on it. So let's get this straight. When you make a mistake that hurts people, you're not the victim. And because you're not the victim, if you want to make things better, you don't sit there trying to defend yourself and talking about how hard everything has been because you made the mistake. You need to say how you know what you did was wrong. Not questionable, wrong. And why it was wrong so people can learn from you. Because when you have that big of an audience, that should be your goal. And to try to make sure that they don't excuse this behavior if it ever happens to them or a friend, you need to use your power wisely, which was the whole problem in the first place. And not only did he try to act like he was a victim in the situation, but I also caught a hint of victim blaming in it. He did acknowledge that if the victims felt uncomfortable, then they were uncomfortable. But he also came off as a little annoyed that people would speak out about how he wronged them. And that's super insensitive considering how much courage it takes for people to even come out to one person about sexual abuse or harassment, let alone millions who will then accuse you of lying and then you sound annoyed that they had the nerve to talk about it. He mentioned how he wanted to focus on how we should treat each other. Yeah, like not manipulating people, but he kind of just ignored the universal problems in this and made it all about him. Something else that really bothers me. At one point, he is talking about people on Tumblr complaining about him and the situations he put himself in, which kind of degrades talking about sexual abuse and harassment and having educational and supportive conversations about what to do in these situations down to complaining. That's not good. We should be encouraging people to talk about this. Sexual abuse still isn't taken as seriously as it should be. Consent is still kind of a blurred line to some people. We need to talk about this. It just kind of shows that his intentions are not to help people and that he doesn't care 
about victims. So here's what I think we should do. Don't forgive him, don't support him, don't buy his fucking book. We don't want anything to do with Alex Day anymore. I find myself to be a very compassionate person and I do believe that people can change. I do. But let's just assume that he had actually made a good video talking about why what he did was wrong and he did apologize to the people he made uncomfortable or sexually coerced or whatever. Let's assume he did those things. It's still not up to us to decide whether he's forgiven or not. He didn't directly hurt us. He hurt the people he sexually coerced or manipulated. Those women are the ones who get to decide, not us. His ex-friends still don't think he's being truthful. The victims still don't feel like he's being truthful. These people who knew him don't trust him. So we should not forgive him. So what should Alex do then? First of all, get the fuck off YouTube. Take your fucking ads off your videos. Stop making money from the platform you abused your power on. And then live your life somewhere else. I am all for Alex Day trying to become a better person and trying not to be a manipulative bastard anymore. In fact, I encourage it. But YouTube and any other social media site is not the place for him to do that anymore. And this goes for Sam, Tom, Jason, all of them. They've already abused their power here. We can't trust them with that power again. Let's say that Alex has changed and he's not a terrible person anymore, which I doubt, but let's just pretend. If we give him the power he had before, how will we know that he's not taking advantage of it again? We don't. Maybe having that much power was too much for Alex Day to handle, and that's why he started manipulating people, because he can't control himself when he has power. So when someone majorly fucks up on this platform, we need to kick them out. We need to unsubscribe, stop watching their videos, don't take their shit, and just let them go. I am still really upset about what happened. And honestly, watching that video made me feel like I missed him in a way. I saw all the related videos on the side, the ones that have made me laugh, the ones that I felt connected to him in, and I was upset because I miss feeling that way about him. So I totally understand the temptation to forgive him and to just keep on watching his videos like this never happened. I understand. But we all need to face the fact that he's not a solid dude. He's a sexual predator and we can't let him go on making videos here anymore. We can't. To me, I don't think there's anything he could do to ever be accepted on this platform again. I haven't watched the other videos he posted after making that one long one because to me, I feel like I'm done listening to him. He's not gonna say anything that's gonna make me change my mind. If someone notices something worth paying attention to for any reason, I'd be open to watching one, but right now I'm not eager to watch any of them. Anyway, that's it. Sorry I talked for so long. I'm open to listening to your thoughts and opinions and reactions to Alex Day, so you can leave them in the comments if you want. So thanks for watching. Don't support assholes. Okay, bye.